my name is Ashley. I'm an analog collage artist and zinester, and I want to wish you a very happy new year. 2023 is finally upon us, and I hope that it will be a creatively fulfilling for us all. So the year has been going fine for me so far, but today was an absolute train wreck. And so I am so excited to be home in my little office space and ready to do some creating. And I wanted to have some fun to sort of unwind for the day. So I wanted to do some work in my surreal collage zine. This one is called, But Can You Fix a Broken Heart? I did the front cover and the first page for TikTok. So follow me on TikTok. And I did the second page and the back cover on my own. Zines are some of my favorite things to make, and doing surreal collage and zines is some of my favorite things to do. Surreal collage is just a really great way to have fun, to play around, to experiment, and inject some humor into your art. And I really want to do that because I need to laugh. It's been, ooh, it's been tough. Okay, so I know for sure that I want to use this image here of a man just painting a wall. I found this in a family handyman magazine from 1967. And I thought that there's a lot of potential here because he can be painting literally anything, but I don't know what that anything is. And so I have pulled out literally everything. This is from two drawers that I have in my little file folders that are just random images, mostly of people, but it's just completely unorganized, uncategorized. And I figured that there has to be something, like, there has to be something in here that he could be painting. And if we don't find anything for him to be painting, there is certainly something in here that we can make, you know, into our zine. This zine, which is now buried under this gigantic pile, um, the zine is going to be 12 pages when it's complete. My goal is to finish pages three and four today. So, um, okay. I'm already regretting just taking everything out of this folder, um, because it's a lot, but we're going to do what I do all the time and make two separate piles. Pile to my uh, right will be things that I want to play around with, and pile to my left will be things that I want to save for later. So um, let's just do it. Let's just tackle in. Let's go through the stack. It's going to be fun. I hope at this point you take out your collage materials and create along with me.
pleased to report that I found a ton of great stuff, was able to accomplish my goal of finding something for our man to paint, and found two separate ideas that I want to jump into immediately. Let's talk about this really small one first. I have been holding on to these three images for months. You can see that this one, this computer ad is all crinkled and messed up, but I love to save images of televisions, computers, mirrors, because they can become a collage and a collage. You can cut out the screen and put anything there. And what we're going to put there is this picture of this little boy with his tongue out. And this is from a Life magazine from either the late 1950s or early 1960s. I thought that this was hilarious. I thought that he was great and I wanted to find the right place for him. And I think that this is it. With these two guys playing golf, it was one of those things where, just like the guy painting, you can cut them out and put them anywhere. So what I'm thinking of doing is cutting him out and putting him on top of the computer or to the side of the computer or something. And he can be there too. He can just be chilling off to the side. So that's idea number one. I went through a phase last year around this time where I kept collaging people on top of food. I did it as recently as a few months ago. I found a marble ad and I had him sitting on some ice cream. I thought that this woman who is from a cereal ad from 1966 would be funny sitting on top of his bowl of Chef Boyer D spaghetti. So that's idea number two. And then the one that we're going to start with is going to be our man painting um, this is from a comic book, and I got this from a collage kit from the artist Luis Martin. Every month, if you're a member of his art community, you get a, a little package full of collage clippings. So this is from a comic book that came from that collage kit. I thought that he could be painting it. And for a little bit of extra fun, I'm probably not going to do this, but I just thought it might be interesting. I found um, this page of a book of just like snake illustrations and like crazy collage things and i thought of maybe like wrapping like this one around him or something i'm not committed to that idea i just thought it could be again a little bit of extra fun not not gonna probably not gonna do that but it's an option it's an option and then for the backgrounds of all the pages i'm going to be using these ads from different popular science magazines and with the exception of one collage zine that I have, which is my pinup zine that I made here on YouTube, I always have something going on in the backgrounds of my zines because when you're taking your time and looking at it, I want to make sure that everything on the page is of some interest to you, and that includes the background. So like the cover has these images of locomotives, the background has more of this background has more of these ads. These are ads. I just think it's a lot of fun. So Let's start putting things together. Um, this bowl of spaghetti is pretty wide, so this might have to be the center fold. And I okay with that. Normally, I obsess over the center fold, wanting it to be like the most interesting thing, the best thing. But for this one, we're just going to have some fun. I just want to let loose and make something. So this is going to be a perfectly fine center fold. So we're going to save that for the middle. And it's this is all so old that it's tearing from me touching it. OK, um, let's see. It's okay, I'm getting confused. It's been a long day. I'm tired. So whenever I'm working on a zine, I always take it apart and work on it page by page. So we need page three, we need page four, and we need the centerfold, which is five and six. So the rest of this can be set aside for later. And I also just want to point out that I when I'm making a zine, I love to use text. So I have my little baggies of words at the ready. And we're going to go ahead and get started and start cutting some things out. Make a little more space on my desk so that it's not as chaotic <laughs> as it usually is. So normally when I make my videos, I always speed through the cutting process. But today 
I want to at least talk through this particular page, cutting this out, because I just want to check in with you guys. At the time of this recording, it is January 13, and I have not made a YouTube video in some time. So if you are returning to my channel, I missed you. Welcome back. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. I want to tell you guys what's going on um, because I was away for most of the month for de of December for a good reason, I think. And also, I think that I am not the smartest cookie in the world, which I'm, I don't think that I know that because I have this idea of having him paint something. He takes up literally the entire page. And I do think that this idea of him painting this, this, this text bubble to choof is more interesting than the Chef Boyardee girl. So we're going to rearrange some things and our man painting is going to be the centerfold. Okay, so I am glad that we're still here talking this out. Now, um, so if you're returning, thanks for coming. If you're new, welcome. I've been away for a while for what I think is a good reason. A few months ago, I made a video on my channel making a piece that I originally was going to submit for a juried exhibition for a gallery in my city. And the video was all about bravery and conquering your fears and, you know, creating for the sake of creating, being proud of what you make, not seeking external validation, all that stuff. And I made that video with the express intention of submitting the, the piece that I created to that exhibition what ended up happening was something even in my opinion even better i made friends last february with a local artist in town and he messaged me out of the blue towards the end of november and said that a prominent artist in my city who has his own gallery in a touristy area wanted to create another gallery above his to feature local artists. And he wanted to know if I was interested in having my work in a gallery. And I was like, of course I'm interested in having my work in a gallery. And this is something that, you know, the show that I was going to apply to, my work would have been, if it was even accepted, would have only been on view for about a month. I have this gallery space indefinitely, so my work is now available for purchase and to be viewed for as long as I want it to be. And so I spent the first three weeks of December, well, first two weeks, the first two weeks of December making a ton of collages because I had some things, some pieces that I made already that I liked and was proud of. But I really, really, really wanted to put my best self forward. And I think that I'm growing as an artist every day. I'm constantly learning new things. I'm constantly changing. And I didn't want to put up work that wasn't reflective of those changes. And so I spent those first, again, two to three weeks of December just like making a ton of new collages. Now, you might be thinking at home, aren't you a collage art channel and aren't you showing yourself making a collage at this moment? Couldn't you have made all of those collages on your channel? The answer is of course, yes, but it is very difficult to create while you're trying to create art while you're also trying to create, create content because I'm sorry to stop so much, but like as we're talking, I'm not only thinking about what I'm trying to accomplish here, but I'm thinking like, am I speaking loudly enough into the microphone? Is everything in the frame? Is this interesting to watch? Am I, am I interesting talking about my thought process? Like all of that stuff is going through my head and it can be very distracting. And I wanted to, again, put my best self forward when I was working on those pieces for the exhibition. And I didn't want to have any distractions. And I also wanted to do it in a super comfortable space. So right now I'm in my little, what I refer to as my everything room. 
I got a new job recently, but before that, I was working from home. So this is my home. This was my home office space. This is also where I play video games. I have my gaming computer set up in here, and I have my little art table where I do my collaging. So most of the collages that I made in December I actually made sitting up on my bed, propped up, watching Project Runway reruns. Um, and that was just the place that I needed to be to be the most productive, to be the most creative. And you can't really capture that, you know, on camera. So I just cut off the little handle to this paint bucket. So it looks like this is floating in space, but that's okay, she said. I'm also going to cut off the top of this ladder because I don't like the way that's showing up there. A lot of collaging when you're cutting is just minor surgery. Also, cutting is my favorite part. I feel like I say that all the time. If you're a turning viewer, I apologize for being so repetitive, but cutting is my favorite part of the collage process. I find it very soothing. I also think that the, in my opinion, the art of collaging comes from the cutting because another artist would have done that, what I just did, cutting this out in a completely different way that would have made for a completely different piece. And I think that's really, really interesting. And that's my favorite part. I'm just going to try my best to, it's not going to work. I wanted to like round off his head, but I'm just taking more off. That's okay. Okay, so he's like this. Do we want to do the snake thing? Do we need it? Let's figure out how we're going to cut out this text bubble. And then we need to figure out how it's going to be on the page. I'm thinking for it to make sense that it's going to have to go like this. It's funny when you use the word make sense with surreal collage because like, I mean, this could make sense. It, it could he could be really painting like street art or graffiti or something. So, you know what? I'm going to take that back. I was going to take back my comment. I was going to say, like, none of this makes sense. It's surreal. That's the point. But um, no. OK, I think that's how I want it to be. Let's vocalize some of my other concerns. I'm going to cut this out and there will be just nothing going on. A lot of, I mean, there will be the backgrounds and the ma magazines, but there's not going to be any other imagery and I'm worried that that's going to be boring. So let me see what happens if I went with my original idea of having this just on one page and maybe Lowering it a bit, moving him over, and then having the text go up like this. I think that could still work. So I'm going to change my mind again, because that's what we can do, and just make this one page and have Chef Boy or D Girl be the centerfold again. And I'm trying to think about why I want these snakes. And I, I can't give you an answer to that question. I think, is it because they're green, Ashley? Is that why you want the snakes? Because they're green and this is green? Maybe, but I also think it could just add something twisted, uh, literally and figuratively. Wrapping a snake, or like this one I'm thinking, around him could just be, it's odd. Let's just try it. Let's cut the snake out and we'll make some decisions. So yeah, I have my work in a gallery now. I created, let's see. Okay, so two of the pieces that are hanging up there, I made before I knew that I was going to be in this gallery. And then I made, I'm trying to count in my head of how many. I made four, 
three, adding, doing math. For, I made um, eight collages for the gallery. So um, I have, that's not, that's not true. I'm trying to, again, I'm, uh, you guys can't see, I'll, I'll put a picture up of what the gallery wall looks like so you can, um, so you know what I'm talking about, right? I'll put it on the screen. I'm trying to count in my head. There are four going up top and then three on the sides. So th I've got 10 pieces in the gallery um, on my little wall. And if I got that math right, you know, I, I don't know math. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I'm gifted in other ways. I want to say there's 10 pieces though. Um, and I'm just like, I'm just super excited. I started collaging just as a way to express myself and process through some complicated emotions that I was feeling back in 2020. And, you know, less than three years later, I've grown so much and now my work is available for public consumption. Um, people can check it out online, you can watch it here on YouTube, and you can purchase it. Both um, people can purchase it locally in the gallery or you can purchase it on my Etsy shop, just self-promotion. Um, all of my zines are available on my Etsy and including this one when it's complete. So if you're ever interested in having a little piece, you know, you can get it or just, you know, DM me and I can send it to you for free because I don't really, you know, I don't have any aspirations of being a professional artist, although that would be really cool, but I do enjoy my day job and it's not so much about trying to make money off of my art or making this a side hustle. To me, it's, it's really just more about getting my voice out there. And so if people want to have a piece of it, in some way, whether you want to own it or just look at it, I, I just want you to have it. So if you are so inclined, hit me up. Okay, so what I would normally do at this point is the wrong thing to do, which would be to cut directly into the snake with my scissors and get rid of this nugget of space. But it's 2023, new year, new me. We're growing, we're evolving, we're trying new things. We are going to try to work with my nemesis, the X-Acto knife. I have a, oh, just kidding. I have a better knife that I want to use. I want to use my fantastic car knife, which I got because the X-Acto knife is a little difficult for me. This fantastic car knife is shorter with a better grip. I think I might be able to do a better job of with like control with this knife. So let me just, also my cutting mat's sticky right here, but I'm just going to see if I can. I don't know what it is about me. I just cannot use a craft knife i just have the hardest time following the lines and there are people i see other collage artists who use craft knives exclusively and i'm just like how and they do the most intricate cuts and you can see that i can barely i could barely cut that loop right there if, if there's someone who can point me to a tutorial on like knife skills one-on-one -on -one or 101, please do it for me because I need your help. You're my only hope. Okay. That wasn't that bad. It wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad. Let's get this little space. and this little space. Okay, finally, um, back to what I think might be the difficult part is trying to cut this out. I'm going to just ignore these finer lines here, the yellow. OK. 
Okay. I want to save this for a later piece. That could be very good for background texture. And I will just use this portion of the image here. So let's cut this out. All right, so my camera battery died and then I got stuck on the tripod when I was trying to unscrew it and replace it with a new battery, which I think is a signal that I have rambled long enough and it is time to call this a night. So this is the final page. I decided not to do the snake thing. It was too distracting. It didn't really fit. And I think like this is simple enough. It's, in my opinion, surreal enough we have this interesting movement this interesting color here i like the background and that some of the text is visible i think what i might do if i can be careful is just get a uniball or a posca paint pen and do a little black outline just to make this pop even more but other than that i'm really happy with how this page turned out and really happy with how this collage session turned out next time we're going to make the center fold and the third page so stay tuned for that if you like this video please leave a like and a comment and subscribe for future content and until next time have a wonderful rest of your day mm -hmm.